Hello, this is Blizzard Star. Welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we went through Davik's uh, base, um, infiltrated his computers, took his ship, and got off Terrace, and then we successfully landed on Datooine, where we talked with the Jedi Council. This time. Uh, let's see what the Jedi Council wants, shall we? Um, hey Mission, what's going on? Hey there, what can I do for you? Do you know anything about the Prime World? I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry I can't be more help, you know? Is there anything else I can do for you? What about your brother? Is he a- I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay. Until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker. And it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles. Guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. So, what happened then? After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went! Maybe something happened to him? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Terrace, Lena sunk her claws into Griff, but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was to hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nothing. Sorry, Mission. Okay. Have it your way. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, do you need to know anything about Dantooine? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. Thank you. You got it. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> One kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek tuk nin chatukune mule rabes ka chikun ita hodonga i king kuno ba mule ra chikun slimo podonar undi hodonga ku hunkabe. I came here with Bastilla. Tong abog sha umni nang. Wanga kun bis king palemuraya. Chuni yon tun chichi itadwana. Kava volpa mulje kumana. She didn't save me. We worked together to uh, escape Terrace. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wanga kun bis ching palamule tun king ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatukune mule rabes. Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Tong patugas makdelia. Hmm, thank you. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. I wish you a Okay, fair enough. Oh. 
cool. I probably shouldn't be taking people's stuff. Hi. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Sorry. Anything in the training room? Not really. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now? You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. And each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I will try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. How can he be stopped? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish, Master Vander. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. 
and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. What must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. What kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. All right. Test me, Greetings, my so. young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Ready to continue. Our, I want to ask some questions, Master Sauer. Questions about Riven and Mel. Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil, one I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. What happened? The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson. But to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. What happened to this noble mission? They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. Only oh, heed the lesson, Master Sarhar. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Greetings, my young pupil. Um, I'm ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end in the traditions and customs of our order, as handed... I'm ready for the test, Master Sarhar. These tests will see if you have truly mastered... First, I you must... There is... There is serenity. That is not correct, Apprentice. Perhaps there is no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. May the Force be with you. First, you must now prove you there is no emotion. There is peace. There is no, no ignorance. ignorance. 
There is no, there is no, no passion. passion. There's serenity. There is no chaos. chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There's the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Sounds good. I have to find this Master Dorak. Greetings, apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? It's difficult, but worthwhile. With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish you luck in your training, apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Thank you. Hello, Trisha. Achuta! Wonga kunbis dolbi kikuyana. Dong patugas makdelia. It's difficult, worthwhile. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Jedo ba doana nidi bobo. Tong nabung sha nununya. Tong patukashmak telea. Thank you. Yikukuno no ba muli ra chikun tong hit kun chunching ne bobo je mata ne punage dulpi kikuana. Go ahead. Shi gratu loda pograshi onio kumba chin tomo muchuba loda ni ta kun ita patiso batua kachatu tonga pograsha kun ticha kum. Chubakaha, Chopa, Chawachwish, Yunku, Jodo, Jidbunga Rantang. Ka chikun ita haudonga, Yikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Slimo po dona, rundi haudonga ku hunkabe. Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. Takum juztach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Problems with my learners come on on that time. Kachi kun ita hodunga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodunga ku hunkabe. Mm, I'll keep an eye out for you, girl. Takom jus tach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Tech. Hi. Achuta. Wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Tong patugas makdelia. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hodonga. Yikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodunga ku hunka be. Jedo ba doana nidi bobo. 
tong nabung siya nunong niya, tong patukas magtalea, mucho siya kapakat. Kiye nuno na mapaule rachikun. Ka chikun ita haodonga, iking kuno pamule rachikun. Slimo po dona rundi haodonga ku hunkabe. Achuta, wonga kun bistulpi kikuyana. Tong patugas maktelea. See what you have for sale. Jedo ba doan ni di bobo. Tong nabung sa nunungya. Tong patugas maktelea. Mucho sa kapat. Kie nuno na mapaule rachikun. Med packs, med packs, military suits, suits. All sorts of stuff. Cool. You cool, cool, no, no, ba, mule, ra, chikun. Jedo ba, doan, ni, di, bobo. Tong, na, bung, sha, nu, nu, nya. Ka, chikun, ita, ha, donga. Yi, king, kun, no, ba, mule, ra, a, chuta, wonga. What do you have against the Cer... Cerco... Ke, puna! Ka, ba, don, pa, ku, pa, le, a, mu, ka, ba, ta. Ji yo ka ku tumpa ku pe lea. Runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nuno tak. Tug nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita ho tonga. Yi king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona runda ho tonga ku hanka be. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo. Tong na bung sa nunong niya, tong patukas magtalea. Do you mean the sex, sex or coop, uh, are allied with the Sith? Mucho siya kapakat. Kiye nuno na mapaule rachikun. Ronda di ho tonga kun hangkabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nuno tak. Tug nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Jedo ba doan ni di bobo. Tung nabung sha nuno nya. Tung patukas magtalea. Ka chi kun ita ha donga. Yi king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi ha donga ku hunkabe. Achuta. Wonga kun bis dulpi kikuyana. Tong patugas maktelea. I'll be going now, thank you. Runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba nuno tak. Tug nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Thank you. Anyone else? Ta bistio bon con che panpa. Cin pala cisca muli. Tu ni rana no prata dunk no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Ni shak ci lor chakin kun no ba muli raji kun. What do you have in stock? Rundi hadonga ku hunga bi. Wana kun bes. Cin pala mul tong kin ba na konkek. Tung ting ta chun kun nek muli rabest. Hmm. Oof. Can I buy a computer probe? No. That's really good stuff, though. I will come back for your stuff. Alright, we have to find that Jedi Master and get to building our own lightsaber. This is sack. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. My training's going well. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. 
But I cannot help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. Hmm, fair enough. Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. My training is progressing quite well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, apprentice. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. What colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Hmm... Counselor or Guardian? Guardian. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Stop the thugs and find out why they're attacking her. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Find out why he, he uh, turned to the dark side and tried to uh, turn him. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Try to pick the lock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Try to learn them out into a trap. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Hmm. Maybe you're right, maybe the Sentinel. Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you on how to construct it. Okay. Uh, what do you recommend? Marinus? Sure. Beats. Ooh. Hmm. Master, heavy weapons, lightsaber. What do you recommend then? Here, first aura, first speed, first valor. Okay. Sure. All right, Master Shar. Please help me. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber.
cool. Oh, cool. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. I can find crystals on Dantooine? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I'm ready to face the third trial. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. You want me to go kill the Cath Hounds? The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. You have any other gardens? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. Hmm, okay. Let us go then. If you have questions... Greetings, young Apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our Order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. I'm eager to learn, Master Doric. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated. But the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For twenty years we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. What were the Mandalorian Wars? Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. 
That sounds like a big mistake. Well, you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. What about Malik and Revan? The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. So, how did Revan fall to Darkseid then? Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Where did they disappear to? Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Where did Revan get the sh uh, ships for the sixth... Sith fleet. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. How can anyone hope to stop the Sith, then? For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. What can we learn from Revan's history, then? Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I will think on this, Master Doric. May the Force be with you. Okay. Greetings, Apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. 
Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? I'm looking to... Uh... To alter my lightsaber. I heard some something about caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. But be warned, apprentice, they are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the force be with you. Fair enough. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <sighs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You took her brother away and left her all alone on Terrace. You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Why should he... Why should we believe you, Lena? Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. I like to hear Griff's side of the things before I judge him. Hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Huh. All right, let's talk to that Jedi Master. Greetings, young apprentice. As you. Academy's archives. This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Don't worry, I'll find a way to stop the Sith. Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. These lead to the dark side. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I'll think on this, Master Dark. May the Force be with you. Well... I wonder if I can talk to 
This is Master Sark. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. Well, good, yes, I know that, but how do I get to the... the grove? I see you insist on wandering the halls of... I suppose such desires are inevitable, though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best. Often, you often seem angry with me, Mr. Farouk. Have I displeased you? If you find me overly critical, perhaps it is because you do not fully understand what is at stake. For 15,000 years, the Republic has brought peace and stability to the galaxy. Now the Republic may be destroyed because we, the Jedi, have failed them. Revan and Malak were paragons of the ideals the Order seeks to uphold. Yet they succumbed to the temptations of the dark side. When Revan fell, Malak took up the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith. Should Malak be stopped, what is to stop another Jedi from taking his place? This is the burden we Masters must carry. Only through strict training and relentless lessons can we prevent the Dark Master from being reborn. That is why the Order can brook no failure in our apprentices and pupils. That is why I can accept nothing but perfection from you. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. Hmm, fair enough. Well, I think I'll call for that one. We, uh... got through two tasks. So we made our lightsaber and... We displayed our knowledge of uh, the Jedi Code. So next time we're going to find that dark um, vault and maybe overcome it. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.